Marcel Salas, and goodbye. Thank you for watching the final episode of the Pioneer Productions. I'm Cadence Cotter. And I'm Kimberly Rangel. Today we will be bringing you with stories about the Student Leadership Council, Prom, Westfest, and Academics. But first we have Chris Stanford and Tykeem Hobson with our brief story of West High students who formed their own band, The Shared Items. I'm in a band because music helps me express like emotion and I love telling like a story through, you know, music. And I'm the singer of the band because like, I love singing. And originally I was going to be the bassist, but luckily we found someone to take that place so I can just sing. Um, I'm pretty sure the other, you know, Ion and Mari have said like other things, but I honestly don't know what to consider us since we'll be making more music in the future and I feel like it's going to be a mix of a little, a little bit of everything, you know, so I don't know what, it, like what specific genre to pick. I am the guitarist. Um, probably, probably the best musician in the band, not gonna lie. Um, I play bass, um, uh, I help out, uh, some writing riffs every now and then. What I like most about the band is, um, the music, I'd have to say. Just, you could be having a bad day but as soon as you plug in and we all get in sync and we all become one in a way I feel like that's probably one of the best feelings Have you considered joining the Student Leadership Council? Do you know what they do or any of the members? Nayeli requires that Denis Solizano bring us the inside look. Student Council um, is different in every school. For ours, it's a Student Leadership Council. So we have several different students who can come who want to be a part of um, making our school better through activities of service, volunteering. Um, we also do the homecoming dances, the spirit dances, the fundraisers, the drives, things like that. In student council, I am the teacher sponsor. Therefore, I'm the adult in the building who helps them set up all the events and um, opportunities that they want to create. We meet on Tuesdays, uh, once a week on Tuesdays, um, and sometimes more during our busy weeks like Spirit Week, Homecoming Weeks, things like that. What is my favorite part? The camaraderie and seeing that the students from different backgrounds and different cultures, they come together and they learn to problem solve and work together collaboratively to come up with something that they think all the students will enjoy. Student Council is important for our school um, for many different reasons. I think the biggest reason is just by being an example of showing the students how we don't have to be exactly the same in order to um, come together and find some common ground that benefits everyone. Learning to work together and problem solve is a huge important skill that we need in our adult life as well. Student Council is a group that you like do fundraisers and work the football games and stuff to make money for like your school basically. What we do in Student Council is like we run concessions sometimes and at the football games we come up with the themes to make them half price for kids and try to get the student involvement just in the school. We meet every Tuesday for meetings and academy time. I think Student Council is like people who like organize like school events. I think Student Council is important because Without them, we wouldn't have events like school events or school or school gatherings. Um, I would join, but then at the same time, I wouldn't because it's, I don't really know what it is. Um. Thank you, Nayeli and Dannery. Prom is one of the most anticipated events of the school year. Jason Underhill and Savannah Winch take us inside. Someone voted for me to be like prom prince or something, so I was like, cool, I decided to show up. That's pretty much it. In fact, it's better than what I expected. You know, I expected. Yeah, this is like so much worse than I think it would be. Any
propaganda. This is propaganda. No, okay. No, but in all honesty, it's about pretty much what I expected. You know, it's a nice little place. You know, parties just getting started. Um, a lot of my friends are coming, so at first I was, I was undecisive, but uh, the majority of my friends got me into coming. So yeah. Um, I mean, it's pretty cool. I feel like that's part of high school, you know. Uh, growing up, we all watch movies and we see how prom and high school is played out, and prom is like, you know, that's that thing that you look forward to going to high school. So, yeah. You see everybody dressed up, take pictures with your friends, you know. It's all, it's just pretty cool. It's fun being here. So, yeah. We were like, you know what? I've never been to prom. Why not? Um, it's not West. I knew I was going to win. The propaganda I posted, you know, there's been a lot of rumors going around, and uh, quite frankly, it wasn't a competition because I took out my competition. Prom isn't the only thing going on for the West High students in the spring. West Fest is an event held at the end of spring where the community can get together and celebrate our school and the seniors showcase their senior projects. We join Savannah Winch and Alyssa Uther with this story. West Fest is our school carnival that we hold that has food, fun, games, and activities to encourage community support. Foreign language is set up buttons, magnets, and scarves handmade by yours truly, Miss Lehrman, for purchase and sale. Used to be my favorite part of West Fest was the food, and I'm attempting to lose weight. So now my favorite part of West Fest is hanging out with everybody who comes. Something I'd like to see at West Fest in the future would be an obstacle course. I feel like I would like to see several of my colleagues and other students be a part of that obstacle course and make fools of themselves. Go West Fest. West Fest is a time for our seniors to kind of celebrate the end of their high school career and also introduce the new eighth graders coming into West High School and show them how much fun we have around a school at West High School. This is my first year at West Fest. I was really looking forward to the dunk tank. Um, our head basketball coach, Coach Brumbelow, was going to do the dunk tank, but it, due to it being too cold, I uh, didn't get to see that today. Maybe a dodgeball game, or a flag football game, or uh, or some kind of some kind of activity to get people kind of moving around a little bit more. I am at West Fest to send the seniors off on their last hurrah before they go and graduate. Uh, West Fest is kind of like a carnival. It's a time for us to reach out to the community, have the community come, have parents come. Um, possibly get some of those middle schoolers interested and excited about West. It's a time to advertise our academies, everything we have going on here, and maybe raise a little money for our departments and stuff. I'm here to support the kids and see what my kids have been doing and look at the senior projects and how wonderful they are. My favorite part, probably getting to see the student work. And I know this is kind of the first time we've really done this much with the senior projects but getting to see the hard work the kids have put into the clubs and the departments and what they're selling and things like that. Um, I'm missing the dunk tank this year, not going to lie. I liked watching my fellow teachers getting dunked a little bit. Um, so hopefully the dunk takes back next year. <laughs> Well, I'm a teacher here at West, so I came because all my students are here and uh, show off my dog. Um, well, you know, this is my first time here, so I don't really know yet. I would probably say the food more than anything. I think the students would like it a little bit more if there was more, like, more activities to do, maybe, like the truck over there with the dancing and stuff like that. I think they'd, it'd be a little bit better for them. Myself, I'd like to see it not rain. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, and that, that's part of being a teacher. I mean, going around, I'll, we'll definitely go around and see all the senior projects and, and, uh, and those kinds of things. And yeah, we'll stop at each booth and talk, see what's going on. I came here to socialize with my friends, you know, see my teachers, just have a good time. Um, I'm glad that the teachers and students can come together and kind of be one, you know? I'm not sure, maybe more of it. I think it's pretty good how it is this year, but I guess I'll just have to see next year to see like what it's like.
Fest is a great opportunity for the students from all academies to come together. Speaking of academies, beginning next school year, the Freshman Success Academy will be absorbed into the rest of the academies, allow, allowing incoming freshmen to choose between CAPE, FACA, BCA, and the Health Academy at the onset of their high school career. With more, here's Juan Gonzalez and Quentin Sanders with our main story. It's happening at this time. We've had academies at West for a little over 15 years. And so the academies need to continue evolving as we want to keep them. So freshmen will be deciding what academy they choose as they leave eighth grade with some information there. And then there'll be opportunities freshman year and sophomore year to change. This year's current freshman class will still move upwards based on their selections, just like all sophomores previously. And our incoming eighth graders are placed in an academy this year based on their enrollment choices and then some data that we have from websites like Zello that are being used district-wide. Changes are primarily going to kind of go unnoticed by students, perhaps. As eighth graders are choosing, they will kind of have more opportunity to conference at their eighth grade school with academy leaders. Next year, we plan to go down and visit them to give them a better window into what West High is. Freshman Academy used to be kind of a boot camp for freshmen on how to be high schoolers, and it used to come with a grant funding that allowed us to teach a high school 101 course. It used to be required for all West High students to graduate. It was a half credit. We've eliminated that requirement and eliminated the curriculum, but the need still exists. So Ms. Wallace is in charge of an Academy Time Curriculum initiative that will be pairing with the academies at West to kind of better streamline how students transition from a high middle school scenario where credits don't matter, where um, grades and matriculation happen based on year to year as opposed to actual earned credit, that will still be part of those lessons for Academy Time. Um, and then we're hoping to help pre-plan senior projects a little bit more and make freshmen feel less like they're in a waiting room until their sophomore year and more like you're coming into this family and you might switch while you're here, but from the beginning you're a part of these academies. That's all for the 2019 school year. Thank you for watching. Have, Have a, a great, great summer, summer pioneers. pioneers.